Hi, this is Adam Bean and today I would like to discuss the um, difference in performance or overhead between EJBs and CDI managed beans or POJOs. So this is actually one of the most frequent asked questions. Uh, should I use EJBs or should I rather go with POJOs because of the overhead? So uh, to try that, actually this question is really hard to answer because it depends on your um, application server and uh, implementation, but um, it is easier to measure than discuss. So what I already found were endless meetings where um, participants try to discuss the questions without actually any result. So I would like to start with a simple servlet. Um, uh, per, um, let's performance gate. No, com a bean overhead, and this is just a regular Java six servlet. So we have that, and then I would like to use a a class called uh, managed bean CDI managed bean, and this CDI managed bean is going to be injected to the servlet. So what we should do, we should just create a method string, some output, and return the output. Return um, output uh, plus system. I just concatenating um, current families um, to go sure that the output isn't cached, for instance. So, and I would like to inject the CDI manage bean, CDI manage bean, CDI manage bean to the servlet. Inject. So here we have it. Um, beans XML is already generated. So it was generated by NetBeans. So, and what I would like to do is to use the output here. This would be bean sum output. So there's lots of stuff which is actually not used. Like just to remove that. So simple HTML5 application. So um, let's try that. Run. And now it will start uh, the database in Glassfish and we'll try to deploy the application to the server. <clears throat> and then start the browser. So it takes a while because it's a cold start of the application server of Glassfish. And yeah, now it's deployed. As you can see, it seems to work. So this is the URI we need. So now to generate some load, we need uh, a tool. And tool I built is Lightfish. So it monitors the uh, performance. And what I also did, um, I pre-installed Lightfish, and Lightfish is a um, um, an agent which runs on the application server and monitors Glassfish and gathers the performance metrics. So it should already run. So let's try that. 8080 slash Lightfish, and as you can see, the application server runs for one minute, and I can start. The, uh, the monitoring, but um, um, I'm not ready yet. What I also need um, performance or load generator, stress test generator. And what I do, I would use, I would use uh, JMeter. So just start, start that and would like to pre-record a test. So I would like to to uh, create some load, so a thread group, and I would say number of threads. Let's go with ten threads forever, and run up periods is one sec. No, let's five seconds or so two threads a seconds a second, 
and then I would like to create a a listener, uh, sorry, a sampler, and this has to be an HTTP request. And what we have, we have the pass here, and we have the server name is localhost. The pod number was 8080. Uh, get is okay, and the path is this. And to verify whether it actually works properly, I would like to use a to install a listener and the summary report is just fine because I'm only interested in the error rate, whether it actually works. So um, let's start the test. Uh, start. No. And I would like to, uh, to measure the error rate. As you can see, zero errors. We get about, um, I would say, 20k. Uh, not no transactions, but 20k requests per second. There are actually no transactions right now. <clears throat> so, which is actually amazing. So I will just stop that. Uh, clear the results, and then start Lightfish, Lightview. So, what I would like to do first is to start the monitoring. So now it um, gathers the matrix and they are pushed over a long polling to a client and I would just like to start the client, which is um, light view. So this is um, a small JavaFX application and we have heap size transactions. This is actually the uh, Lightfish transaction. So every two seconds it stores something in a database. We have paranormal activity. So we have here the number of errors, um, which is uh, three errors for some reason. We have uh, uh, one busy thread and we have no commits per second and no rollbacks per second. And we have two sessions and some applications deployed, EGB overhead, some internal Glassfish apps and the Lightfish. So now restart the test. So I would like to start the test, run, start, no. And this is a little bit faster because right now the, um, the hotspot optimization was able to optimize the bytecode and we can just monitor the performance. Of course, no commits per second. We see uh, queued connections, so the cluster is actually busy. We have about six, um, six busy threads and uh, no transactions. So they are actually, again, there are just the internal transactions and we um, uh, have, have about uh, 90 threads count and peak threads counts above 100 and heap size looks great. So there is, seems like no memory leaks. We have about 200 megabyte RAM. So 20k transactions per second. No, no, sorry, requests per second. So just, I would like to shut down Shut down the uh, threads. Clear the results. And then introduce an EGB. So I would like to change that. So we have, I would just rename that. Copy, paste. I would call this a real EJB. <laughs> so the real EJB is an EJB and so it has this transactional. And the performance gate servlet uses the real EJB instead of the managed bin. So now the application was redeployed and now let's restart the test. So I would like to, oh, Jimmy is not able to stop the test. Okay, it's not a big deal. We will save the test plan uh as EGB overhead and just restart JMeter. EGB overhead 
and then just restart JMeter. So, so we should have, uh, yeah, everything looks fine. I will just repeat the test. So I'll run start and summary pause. So we um, see the performance. Let's go to um, to Glassfish, and what we see, we have a number of transactions. Right, we have uh, two transactions per second right now. Paranormal activity is very similar to before. There is no 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 a big difference. Performance, we get uh, several thousands transactions per second right now, and there are two transactions. And let's look at the performance. So we have about 14k now true transactions per second, and I assume it will be about 15k or something. And actually, this test is not a real test because in real life you will need the transactions to access the entity manager. So you will have to start the transaction somehow. And um, also keep in mind that the EJBs that the EJB is pulled by the container and the CDI manage bean is not. So, um, or this was actually the best case. Now it is because it's dependent scope with request scoped, it would be recreated on each request. So what we have right now, the EJB are of course a little bit slower than CDI manage bean, but uh, we get still amazing performance. So we have about 15,000 transactions per second comparing to about 20K requests per second. And yeah, this is the EJB overhead. So um, usually, if you are building Java e, Java e apps, you would be usually very happy with 20k transactions per second per node, and the performance uh, performance problems occur usually if you access the database and not trying to optimize uh, EJBs versus CDI management. So uh, thanks for watching, and see you one of my upcoming conferences workshops or real-world projects, so thank you.